It is time for us to check sports. Time to bring in Mike Kazi. Morning, Mike. Good morning. How'd your week go? Eh. <laughs> That's right. I think most people would say the same thing. Eh. <laughs> too much snow. Boy. Over... Not as much as you, but still too much. You want, yeah, it's... Um... It's, Any snow is too much snow. The older I get, that's the way it is. I, if I could just sit, be inside and not have to deal with snow and look out no. at it, it'd be no. nice. I don't want to be cooped up inside. I want to be outside. But uh, Well, then me too. I mean, but, but if you could just look at it and then it goes away uh, very quickly, it wouldn't be bad. But anyways, enough of that. All right. So this is Super Bowl weekend. La, da, 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 da. Finally got there. Uh, I'll be honest with you, though, Mike. I I did I didn't miss all the uh, Super Bowl things that went on, and the, the, normally in that week, this week lag, there wasn't a lot of things they could do because of the pandemic. So there wasn't a lot of Super Bowl, you know, hype, hype, hype. So I didn't miss any of that. But I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Tom Brady. Who are you gonna go with? Brady. Yeah. The best quarterback besides Joe Montana to ever play in a big game. I just think that this is the perfect cap for his career. Uh, you know, it's a, Oh, he's not going nowhere. No, but all I'm saying is uh, if he wins this Super Bowl, and I've got nothing against Mahomes. I like Mahomes. But don't, I, I like both teams, as a matter of fact. But um, he will be not only the greatest quarterback to, 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 to play in the NFL, one of the, one of the top players of all times, I mean, regardless of position. He's just uh, more, you know, the more you look at him, the more you look at his, his consistency. And now the consistency, not just with one system, but into an, another system. And how at the age of 42, he learned if, that to fit in and made people around him fit into that system. He really is. A, a, he really is just an amazing athlete. He is. There's only two players that you can mention to being the best of ever in football. Him and Jerry Rice. Everybody else is behind them. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Jerry Rice was just, I, I, uh, I liked when the Giants beat San Francisco, but he was just a marvel to watch, just a marvel to watch. And he never shied away from reporters. He was always right there. Uh, I remember when, And he spoke his mind. And he spoke his mind. I remember when the Giants, in one of those playoff games, crushed, crushed San Francisco one of the few times. Yeah, I only and, remember the one when the 49ers beat him 49-7. Yeah, but this one game, where, which was in the playoffs, in the first series, Montana threw a 70-yard pass, and he was wide open, and he dropped the ball, okay, to start the game. He dropped it. It was a sure touchdown. After the game was over, some stupid uh, sportscaster said to him, do you think that uh, you're dropping that ball affected the course of the game? And he looked at the report, and he goes, we lost 30, 30 something to seven. No. <laughs> nope. Well, you know, reporters are idiots. Yeah, well, they, That's why they're reporters. Sometimes they get out there and they like that. But, anyways, so, all right, so we've got our Super Bowl picks in. Um, let's take a look at the National Hockey League. The Rangers beat the Capitals last night. You know, it's just, just a, For a change. Yeah. They won a game. So, now, well, who's that player they got rid of? They got rid of a player that's been just nothing but, but a pain in the rear end. And he just signed oh. a nine million dollar contract. Oh, the Rangers. The Rangers. Yeah, got rid of him a couple of days ago. I forget what his name was. I don't know. Yeah, nine million dollar contract. And they're gonna, you know, they they tried to peddle him to other teams. Other teams wouldn't take him. So, nine million's not bad considering the Yankees are paying Corey Kluber ten. <laughs> that's right. Well, you, also. You get nine million dollars just for sitting on the bench in the NBA. <laughs> well, that's what I I told my buddy who was Mark Fridrich's roommate in Detroit. I said, "Hey, why don't you get on a flight and go to Tampa and go to Yankee camp? They might give him a million dollars just to show up." <laughs> it's really, you know, it, it really is pretty amazing. Uh, Corey Kluber hasn't pitched in the major leagues in two years. They they talk about signing him like they just signed Nolan Ryan and he's thirty two years old. What a joke! The Yankees pitching staff shambles, shambles. But you listen to the media, and you think it's the uh, 1969 Orioles. The Orioles. Boy, what a, what a th- joke the Yankees pitching staff is. That Orioles. Four, four all-star pitchers on that. Four 20-game winners, and yeah. the Mets beat them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why the Mets can't win a World Series anymore. They put all their eggs in one basket 52 years ago. <laughs> that's right. It's, it's like every year at this time, the best meme comes up about a family watching the Super Bowl, the Jets in the Super Bowl. And it's on a black and white TV. 
That was a long time ago. It really was. It's amazing how long ago it was. The, <laughs> what was it? The uh, the third Super Bowl? Yeah. Green Bay won the Three first or four. two. Four, one of them. Yeah, he, Green Bay won the first two, and then uh, the Jets uh, defeated Baltimore. Uh, but that's how long ago it was. That's Ranger esque. That's worse than Ranger esque, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, it's close to it. I did watch that Ranger game last night, though, and uh, it was a pretty good game. Um, but there's a lot of names you hear wearing the Ranger shirts. I have no idea who they are. I was going to say that's why I don't even remember the name of the guy that they, that they that they bounced off the team. Oh well. So now, how's your, how's your racing been going this weekend? This week. Well, last weekend we did good. We had quite a few winners down at uh, at Gulfstream and whatnot. So maybe we can do some more of that this weekend. Uh, are there any? Are there any? What is there any coming up that you want to pick? Yeah, there's a uh, uh, Tampa Bay has a, a Derby prep tomorrow in the Davis with a bunch of races around it. So. That's where we'll go. So the ninth race tomorrow at Tampa is the Sun Coast. Um, it's a prep for three-year-old fillies heading toward the uh, the Oaks. Oh, and by the way, um, Bobby Baffert got in trouble yesterday. That one super horse that they were talking about last summer and whatnot, Gammon, who's supposed to be uh, Gossamer's Wings, tested positive for something and was disqualified from purse money from third in the in the Oaks last September. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Baffert, join the club. So we'll go to the ninth race tomorrow, the Sun Coast. Um, ten horses line up for this. <clears throat> a couple horses I'm looking at. Um, one is the four-horse Curlin's Catch. <clears throat> this horse has been two turns up at Woodbine. Showed some decent moves in there. Um, is by Curlin out of an AP in Indy Mare. So this horse um, can run all day in the mile and 40 yards. Should be right in our wheelhouse. So that's one horse we're going to use. Um, another one is the five, Honor Rafik, um, trained by Eddie Keneally. <clears throat> this horse ran in a maiden special at Keeneland in October. At the beginning of the meet was the best part of the meet. And uh, ran third in that two-turn race. Subsequently ran in a couple of one-turn, one-mile one races at Churchill and Gulfstream and broke, his maid, broke her maiden and came back after that, ran pretty good, working out good at, at Palm Meadows. So that's a horse to, that's a must-use. And uh, the seven horse, Gulf Coast, who beat Honorific in the last race, is probably going to be my top pick in this race. So we're going to go with a four, five, seven exact box here. And depending on the odds, the five or the seven gets to win money. Uh, from there, we go to the next race, is the 10th. <clears throat> the Endeavor, grade three, a mile of 16th on the turf. Um, eight horses line up here. Uh, we're going to go to three horse box here. Uh, Chad Brown's going to have the favorite with the five. I'll put him in the box just for the sake that the horse is decent, not for any price or anything whatsoever. Um, the eight horse, Irony of Realty uh, by Animal Kingdom, is, has six starts on the turf at Tampa with two wins and two seconds. Six out of 11 times in the money on the turf. Coming off of a, of a marathon at Gulfstream on the 23rd of January, uh, this horse ran third, a pretty even race at 50 to 1. Um, this is a dropping class, even though it's still a grade three. Um, I think Irony of Realty can make a nice exact price for us. And my top pick is going to be the six, New York Girl, trained by Billy Mott. Uh, this horse is coming over from Ireland, um, unraced from September till New Year's Eve. Came off the bench New Year's Eve at Gulfstream, won real nice sitting just off the pace and drew away like a real nice horse. Bred very well. Um, this horse, New York Girl, will be my top pick. So. We'll go with the six on top and a five, six, eight exact box. And then the big race of the day down at Tampa is the Sam Davis, prep for the Kentucky Derby. Uh, Twelve horses line up for this one. Um, two horses I'm looking at in here. I'm not going real crazy here. The, the favorites look kind of tough. The five, Smiley Saboka, trained by Dale Romans. Has it run since November when ran second in the Kentucky Jockey Club at, at, Ch at Churchill Downs. Um, has some speed. Should sit right near the front. Could be the class of the race. Might be tough to beat. The, the horse I think that can beat him is a lightly raced horse, the eight and over rags by Union Rags out of a start, smart strike mare. Uh, never been two turns. Um, won the Pasco, a seven furlong prep for this race at Tampa very nicely. Sat off the pace, drew off to win by two going to seven furlongs. Um, very young horse, inexperienced. Could be any kind of horse. Um, if this horse looks good in the post parade, um, that's going to be my win bet. So 
a 5-8 exacta box in the 11th at Tampa in the Davis uh, with uh, Nova Rags probably going to be my win bet. All right. I got the, the, the uh, Rangers player, Tony D'Angelo. Yeah. Does, doesn't he sell hot dogs on 38th and 5th? Oh, he's, he's, they, it's funny. They, they've taken him off Tony the Tony D'Angelo. Tony D'Angelo. His name doesn't even sound like a hockey player. It, it, no, he, sound, he sounds like a catcher in the, in the bullpen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's his calling. He's in the wrong sport. But uh, this, but you know that that's that's the player's name. They, he just signed a nine million dollars contract that he did something stupid in, and they, they 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 bounced him out. But I guess there's like four other teams that that are now sniffing around, seeing if they want him. But if the Rangers don't want somebody, <laughs> yeah, they could take anything to breathe. <laughs> really surprised how bad the Islanders are playing. Hey, well, yeah, I it's. It is what it is, you know. I, it's you're you're right. I expected them to be one of the top teams uh, coming out, but maybe it's just you know get into the season, see what happens, you know. Yep, we'll see what happens. Uh, why are they playing sixty games? I think. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we'll see what happens with the Super Bowl. We'll talk about it. Uh, I'm going to predict the score. I'm going to I'm going to predict the score. Uh, Tampa Bay is going to win forty to thirty-seven. Wow. Bet the over, folks. Marshall's giving it to you. <laughs> That's right. For, and it'll be a last-minute drive by Tom Brady where they kick a field goal to win the game. Well, I don't know what the score is going to be, but I hope it's like 42 to 10. <laughs> we'll see. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, so we'll see. All right. We'll see. I mean, when they, like I said two weeks ago, whoever wins the Green Bay-Tampa Bay game I think is going to win the Super Bowl, so I'm staying with that. and. Green Bay didn't score a hell of a lot of points in Green Bay against them. Now Tampa Bay's in the Super Bowl, and it's a home game for them. So I hope they smack them. 